Hello, it's Simone. Today is my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. And I decided I'm going to vlog today um, because interestingly, I get a lot of stuff done when I'm vlogging because I make a plan of what I want to do and what I want to film. Um, so I just took a photo of my birthday presents and I thought maybe I'll show them to you and then once I'm done I'll move to the table oh my gosh this is so wiggly um, I'll move over to the table and make a plan because I was spoiled rotten so here is my birthday here I'm 45 today this is a rumple blanket I don't know if you know them they're amazing but I actually got this one which is um lake tahoe and it's like this is my favorite i love lake tahoe i am a super nerd for these i don't even know what the lines are well i do know what they are höhenlinien but uh, what is höhenlinien in english do you know um it shows the depth of the of lake tahoe the way it is made up where the rifts are i have no clue but um this has special meaning to me because i actually have grand plans um i would love to hike the tahoe rim trail one day and um yeah so i really love that I was given this for my birthday because special meaning and such. And then, no surprise, I got this book because I've been baking like 20 breads uh, since I borrowed this from the library. So I needed to have it and what better thing than to get it for my birthday. And then these are the gifts that I gave myself. Um, I gave myself a 20 slot pen case from Gallon Leather. This is the uh, Crazy Horse Brown. And the Kaweko pen case, which currently is empty because I have two of them inked. I have my inked pens in here on this side and two of them are inked. And so I gave myself um, the fox color of the Kaweko, so I can actually put one in here. Uh, I, let me open up the zipper case to show you how many Kaweko pens I have. For really? It. Do you have to go through here right now? So I have these three. And I actually really like the color combo. Um, I want to... Could you move, like, a little bit further this way? Thank you. Um... So I think I want to ink this up with an ink. I don't know what color yet. And this is a different, I got this from Amazon and this is a different clip. This is just the regular clip than these two. These are some kind of special clips, which I really, I really don't mind. They look really nice. And this one also looks really, really nice. Very functional. Um, so yeah, this is the tiny start of my Kaweco collection. I'm, I'm hoping... Well, on my pen list are a lot of expensive pens. So I'm not 100% sure that I will be adding many more to this collection. Uh, in the near future but um, as you can see this is how full the pen case is right now um, there is a little bit of room to grow but not much so if these go into a different pen case at one point um, I still have some room and then I probably I think 20 pens plus 14 is quite a lot and I don't want to overwhelm myself with tons and tons of pens like I did with all the other things that I own. I have a very small leather cover collection and I'm very happy that this is very small 
uh, very curated, and I'm hoping that I can keep that pen collection uh, very similar. How many pens do you have? If you have fountain pens, how many do you have? Um, what happens when you have acquired all the pens that you have on your wish list? Do you just have more? Do you acquire more? Do you de-stash? Um, I definitely know that, especially with the Lamy Safaris, they they work. Um, they work okay, but they're definitely not my favorite pens. So maybe if they, I would phase them out. I use them because they're easy to fill. They're not very expensive. And especially when I want to have differently different inks in my pens, um, different colors, it's easy to fill them up because I have them. But they would probably not my preferred writing pens. If that makes sense. Those uh, Twisbees, on the other hand, I really love. And um, even though they're not super expensive, I really enjoy writing with them. And the writing experience has been great so far. So these are my inked pens. There's one in my uh, leather tool pouch, the one that I'm currently using. And then these are the ones that are not inked. And yeah, so I'm, since I have this one right now, new right now, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe adding another pen in March and then maybe in May. So maybe I can um, like, experience them more and not add too many uh too much at the same time so spreading it out oh and i'm i've been thinking of maybe making a video about what pens are on that list um if you're interested let me know in the comments because well it's you know I do what I want, I film what I want, and if I really wanna make that video, I really don't care if anybody wants to watch it. It's just oftentimes when I make those videos, um, it helps me uh, think through something as well. So yeah, but if you wanna watch it, maybe <laughs> leave a comment so I'll make it faster. Let's see. I actually have a lot of stuff on my list already, so I'm just going to, what am I going to do? I am going to structure it <laughs> just like the other video, uh, the other vlog. I'm just going to write a list in the way that I am going to tackle this. So I did um, do, I have on my list, I am thinking of for my year of making, I had the idea of just using a piece of paper or a sketchbook. Well, I don't have a sketchbook, so I probably would need to buy a sketchbook. No, I'm, I'm thinking of maybe drawing all the things that I like. For instance, cat, a mushroom. I love mushrooms. Um, hello. Um, and... Like finding things that I like and drawing them and then doing that every month and seeing how I'm improving or what my take is on that specific thing. Um, because I think it might be interesting to see how I progress, how my art, how my style is progressing. So that's something that I would love to do today because it's the first of the month. Um, then I haven't uh, created in my creative journal in a while. So I, I put that on my list. Um, and I want to update my social media tracker because it's the first of the month. Um, I'm also really itching 
uh, to switch out my ephemera stuff um, because it's the first of the month and and then inking up my fountain pen and maybe thinking about what pens um, I want to see how full my other pens are, which ones I want to switch out and clean and then tackle that during the next month. It's not something that is pressing, but I feel like I'm done with that specific ink palette. So, and then I also want to make myself a birthday cake and I need to get some stuff for the dinners, like fresh, fresh things. Uh, so I, that's why I have this, um, really, I have this baking book out. Uh, I think this is how you can see. It's a German book and it's somehow this is super funny. The author is Cynthia Barcomi and she's an American woman living in Germany and she has a um, bakery and cafe, probably a cafe where she makes the the goods. She has several baking books out. Um, <laughs> but so we are using her American style stuff in a German with German recipes uh, in America. And also, that's something that I always notice with American recipes, there's always so much sugar in there. And I always take out like almost half. So I have, it says 260 grams sugar and I put 180 and then I even uh, scaled it down and back to 120 grams. But I think I need uh, pineapple and coconut, what is that, flakes stuff. So I guess I would have to uh, go grocery shopping first. So what I think I'm doing, what time is it right now? It's 8.30. Is the stores are already open? Can you please move? What are you doing here? Um, okay, I'll, I'll do it this way. I'll make a shopping list. Then I'll get groceries first. Then I'll make the cake. And then I'm going to play. And then um, when I'm going to play, I'll sit down again and see what I want to work on first, because I feel like all the creative things that I was just talking about are way too much to actually get done today. And since I'm home until Friday is my first day back at work, um, I do have Wednesday and Thursday to be creative as well. So it's not super important that I get all the creative things done today. Okay, I think we got a plan right there. This cat is the only cat that I know that loves all things green. I don't know if your cats do that. Don't eat the whole lettuce. Li I, here. Well, okay, maybe it's the other cat that I know that likes greens. Let me know if your cats do that because <laughs> whenever we have lettuce, we have to share.
you see my face, but that's not important. The important part is I have my empty cartridge right here and I wanted to show you. I found that today while I was cleaning my pens, flushing it with the syringe works really well. And I actually um, purchased, just purchased uh, bulb syringes on Amazon so that I can flush out my pens because I find it kind of disgusting the way that I did it. I don't know if you saw it on the time lapse. Um, but the Vinta ink that was in this blue pen was re is really um, stained it very much and it was really hard to come off. You can see it on this um, converter. It's still pretty purplish. So I'm not sure. Somebody commented under a video of mine that you can actually open up these. I haven't. Oh, okay. Ha ha. JK. So I just pulled this and then let's see if this is. There we go. So I guess I can actually clean this out even more. Then let's try this one. This one doesn't look like it comes off. These are different uh, converters as you can see. I'm not sure if this one works the same way. No, definitely not like this. Um, but since this is the one that is um, stained, I will definitely go back and um, try and find, uh, open it up again and clean it more. And then I also researched if I can remove the feet and I watched a video by Brian Goulet where he says that they are really, really hard to get out and you have to mangle the feet a lot. And I felt the same way. I tried to turn, take it out because I think this definitely needs a bit more cleaning. That's the reason why I purchased the bulb syringes so I can actually flush it even more and even better. Um, so yeah, but, but you can see the... This looks really great. I didn't uh, clean the, the caps either, so I guess I have to go back. But what I was going to do show you is I found this at Daiso. This is a toothbrush holder, I think. Something holder. Uh, and it fits these um, sample vials absolutely great. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then I'll go back and clean these um, later on. What I usually do is I sample them. Where's my sample notebook? Right here. I swatch them in my swatch book right here. And then I put a dot on the top of this um, sample vial but I haven't swatched this one yet. So I, that's what I'm going to do. And then I usually swatch them on here, on this uh, coloring, and then also on these ink collection cards. I just like the different, the way the ink performs. I like to see the way the ink performs on the different papers. And that's what I'm gonna do before I actually even fill the pens. it pretty telling that this is the color palette that I had in November so I had this one the ancient copper and the Manu Ume don't come out on this well you can see even though they're not the right color on your screen they are very similar to what you can see here in this custom 74 so I feel like I'm 
having the very similar um, color schemes. But maybe that's just what I like and that's okay too. So here is, here is what I put into my pens. I'm gonna use up the ones on top. These are the new, two new ones. I wrote custom 75, yeah I did for sure. And then I made these um, ink swatches right here. What I find very interesting is, um, look how different these look here on here too. This one is Rhodia paper. And I'm just gonna take the paper off and put it into my pen case. And so this way I can choose the next pen. I really love like picking a pen where the color kind of coordinates with the other colors that are already there because I'm just weird like. That. Also, look at that. Wow, I can't even ca capture it on camera. Look at that sheen. Oh my gosh, let me try again. Here, here you go. Look at that sheen. I can't wait to put those two inks into my ink journal. Yeah, I'm a geek when it comes to fountain pens. It just started recently, but I love everything about them so much. I think this is a really good representation of where I am currently going with my fountain pens because I just realized that I have not inked one single Lamy Safari. And as much as I liked them when I was a teenager and young adult, I think um, I have found other pens in the similar price range that are better in my opinion. And so that's where this is going. Here is all the pens that I have need to dry out still. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and, and say that because it was surprising to me. Alrighty, I need to go walking now, but I think I'll take you along one more thing. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, I'm trying to establish a workout routine that I can live with. I don't, I'm a coach, couch potato, stationary desk 
person um, and I love the idea of working out I love the idea of being outside but I really usually don't get myself to go outside and so um, now that my back is really really bad again um, I really have to do something it's like the wake-up call that I was already hearing a little bit but I started too late so after I am I'm done with my medication right now and the pain is gone so now I'm walking 7,000 steps every day I want to actually go up to 10,000 steps by the middle of March I and currently what I'm walking is 30 minutes so 7,000 steps almost take me about 30 minutes and then I want to extend that workout time to one hour every day I don't think that's too much time taken out of my day well I have to prioritize it so I am going to take that time and oh garbage trucks but what is more important I have found is that I am really consciously walking um, like you know uh, making your posture thinking about that posture is super super important and um, I notice a difference when I am walking consciously um, so usually listening to podcasts and walking very consciously straight back shoulders down not and then butt cheeks together um, and a straight lower back as well um, that really really helps so if that's not something that you do maybe you should start um, I'll update you on my vlogs on how this exercise workout uh, routine is going I'm really determined because as you know and as I said before I really want to hike that Tahoe Rim Trail and that's the first step walking posture so that I can actually carry a backpack on my back to be able to to go and now it's super windy here so I don't know how much you can actually understand this is going to be a very long birthday vlog but that's just how it is going to be and also isn't this amazing yeah, I know we need rain and everything we need all the things but Sun on February 1st um, getting vitamin D into my body like that is just amazing
look at the green light. So look at this guy. He's breathing really loudly here. Look at my table. I need to clean. I need to clean up. Um, I think I'm going to stop the vlogging right here. It's almost, what time is it? 3.14, so my kids are coming home pretty soon. Did you see the cake? It doesn't really look good, but it tastes amazing. So I'm, I'm super happy. I usually don't, the frosting I usually make without butter. Um, I found a recipe online, just Googled uh, cream cheese frosting without butter. Um, and I like it so much better. It's less heavy and you can eat, you can eat more. Um, I sorted through things and I didn't, of course, I didn't get to all the things that I wanted to do, but I hope you enjoyed this, um, little snippet of my birthday. I, what I'm going to do now is I have my binder with all of the, um, things that I wanted to use in December and January and I really enjoy going through and um, looking at the stuff again, um, deciding where to stick it down or if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to give it away. And then um, that just is that super inspiring to me. And so that's where I'm going to work in right now. I have so many things that I want to do. I want to catch up on my weekly journal, which I really need to say one thing. One, the catch up thing. I don't feel like I'm behind. I just have found a rhythm where I'm in all of my journals throughout the week and I'm journaling about two or three days in a row and it's a lot of fun rotating through them and opening up one and then putting stuff down there and then using the other one and putting stuff there. So I don't feel like it's a catch up. It's just the normal rhythm of journaling where I'm not in each of those books every day. Um, but I haven't found a really good term. Maybe I'm just journaling, not catching up. I don't know. Um, let me know what, what you call that. Um, I think that's it. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. It's going to be an awesome month because it's my birthday month. And so thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you soon. Until then, bye.